Okay, this is uh, an update. They cleaned out the banana plant that was right there. Completely gone. Uh, they didn't leave anything. Uh, there's still some grass. Now, we are going through a drought, so it's very dry. And right now, it's like super hot. Uh, I finally installed uh, two of these. And here's one of the wild chickens uh, trying to get in here. So I want to see if they learn that they would have to go all the way up there and jump down to get in here. Okay. That's one of the wild chickens. Let me show a complete visual of this right here. The cage completely is done already. Okay, there you go. And there's the uh, wild chicken trying to get in. Okay, it's super hot today. Uh, I got the fan on. Uh, the chickens already learned how to use the peck feeders. And see if they use it in front of me. They actually like it. There you go, they're using the peck feeder. Okay, even though they're in here, I make sure they, they get their greens. So, uh, every morning, I put banana leaves in here. And check this out, look. Everybody is right here. Look at this. And I put feed this morning. Okay, look. There's feed in there this morning. Two chickens over there. Banana leaves everybody here uh, in the future I will be probably maybe on this door since this is the emergency door right here I might weld like a little hook something that folds up and comes down or whatever and I'm gonna hang and I'm gonna take and hang like um, star fruit uh, star fruit is liquid calcium for uh chickens okay so if they eat star fruit they get uh a lot of calcium <laughs> check it out look and over there again the feed just one chicken and this is early in the morning i put their feed right and i put out the banana leaves and look what they prefer Okay, I was um, hanging up these bananas because uh, I went to harvest some bananas uh, for me. And uh, I got a really good idea. Okay, this is the idea I got. Uh, this is temporary. Anybody who knows me knows that this has to be like, you know, it has to be set up like something that I like. But this is the idea. Um, I'm going to hang up bananas like this. Once the bananas uh, get ripe, they will start to drop. Or if they're, let's say, ripe already, I'll just peel them a banana and throw, the, throw it on top of a banana leaf like this. Uh, I'm also planning uh, to test out the coconut. I tested out the coconut with the wild chickens. I know the wild chickens love it. That's how my father uh, used to produce eggs. My father didn't have these right here. These are around here. These are luxury chickens, okay? Uh, my father used to get eggs. The eggs are smaller because they were bantam chickens. But uh, he didn't feed the chickens at all. I feed these chickens because, you know, I'm like, uh, I consider these uh, chickens, uh, eh. I'm not, I'm not going to say pets because I don't name none of my chickens. But 
these around here are luxury chickens, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to be testing out uh, a couple of different things. Uh, I'm going to be testing out the coconut. I'm going to open up a coconut and throw it down to see if they like that as well. Uh, so, I'm going to test it out right now. Okay, does anybody remember this? Uh, this is my uh, uh, coconut dehusking tool. I have a video on this. It has probably maybe 5,000 views. Uh, uh, this is a coconut opener that I actually made a long time ago. So when I have this, okay? So anybody who watches like my videos, uh, they'll start seeing little things start to connect, to connect, to connect, to connect. Yeah, all this is planned out. Okay, this coconut is perfect. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a nice, thick meat. Um, you could get a coconut that has like a little palm coming out of it. And it'll have a star apple inside. But I want to test out uh, just a regular coconut like this uh, for now. Okay, I put a wild chicken in there to teach him. Look at this. The wild chicken will teach them that that's good food. See? Is wild chicken training my, see? Now they're being jealous. They're like, hey, is she hyped up about? And it's because she knows what, uh, wild chickens know what coconut is. Okay, so I'm going to have her teach them what this is. I'm back. I'm incubating some eggs. If you could see all these eggs, all of them, they're blue and greens. The reason I'm going to incubate these eggs is because, uh, these chickens are harder to find around here, so I might as well reproduce these chickens, okay? So, you see what I get. Okay, and a shit hit the fan. If you have, uh, let's say, uh, an electric mower uh, that collects grass, that would be the easiest thing. If you have that and solar that you could charge batteries, uh, check this out. You just cut some grass and, you know, they have a little bit of grass here and they wiped out a lot of it uh, and we're going through drought and it's super hot right now. Super hot, trust me. Uh, yesterday we broke a heat record. And look, I got them with the fan. A lot of these ladies are in here just because it's so hot that, you know, they're just in here just chilling. And yeah, so that's an option for any type of shit hit the fan. That's an option. Uh, I found another uh, stray banana. Uh, when I was just like cleaning up a little bit, you know, that there's like uh, a little small one. It was uh, this one right here. But, but it, it's this one right here all the way down here. So I got bananas ripening up. I put them a banana leaf. I threw some grass there. I still give them the feed. And check this out. Look. Check this out. Look, I'm not making this up. I put this this morning. I put the feed. Banana leaf, this one's eating banana leaf, and all of them over there are eating the grass, okay? These are experiments that I'm doing because uh, this lets me know what the chickens like, 
So, and look, they went to Pound Town uh, with that coconut right there. So that shows that, hey, I have options. You know, like if anything happened that I couldn't get feed, I got options, multiple options. And it's not mango season yet. So during mango season, there's a ton of other fruits that grow and I'm going to be testing those out. So there might be a part two to this just because I want to try try out the mango, uh, you know, hang up the mango and some other fruits. The star fruit, I haven't tried out yet. I'm dying to try out the star fruit. Okay, it's early in the morning. I'm back. Yesterday, I took and I bought a chain with one of these pieces. Let me see if I can focus it right there with one of those pieces. It just goes right in between the two by two. And I installed the chain uh, just because uh, of a preparedness mindset, okay? Uh, a lot of homesteaders, when they're building, uh, they're not... I don't think they're building um, thinking about preparedness or shit hit the fan or anything like that. Uh... I rather build this way instead of putting like a rope, something that's gonna fray it with the sun and stuff like that. I took and I bought a galvanized chain. Uh, I'm using paracord. Paracord uh, does very good uh, outside. So, yeah, to hang the bananas. So, yeah. Okay, this build is almost done. I went above and beyond uh, the expectations. It's 100% uh, sustainable. In other words, uh, it produces its own water. It pumps its own water. Uh, water pressure through gravity that uh, improves energy efficiency. Uh, this banana thing is working out. Uh, I've been, uh, throwing banana leaves in there. I cut some grass. I throw it to the corner over here. Uh, uh, believe it or not, this, this experiment right now, the feed has gone down, uh, 50%. Uh, I'm also going to be throwing coconut in there. They took out the coconut completely. Okay. They just left the little shell. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so, yeah. This produces its own power water. Uh, well thought out, okay? This is a well thought out build. So this is the end of this video. Lewis out.